Hello and welcome back. I'm attorney Andrew Bethel of Bethel Law, where I destroy your mind with facts and logic on estate planning, finances, real estate, and taxes. Today we're going to discuss an important topic that the media rarely talks about, FDIC and NCUA insurance for trust funds. I know, I know, not exactly the most salacious or provocative of topics. Those are coming. However, FDIC and NCUA insurance is something that most of my clients tend not to think about until they're the trustee of a trust overseeing an administration after death and they see all those zeros after collecting everything into one place and they start to get a little nervous. You sell a house, you collect some money from various accounts, perhaps you sell some personal property, and before you know it, there's a few hundred thousand dollars or perhaps even a million or more dollars in a single bank account. What if something happens to that beyond your control and the money disappears? Are you covered? Well, whether you have a revocable or irrevocable trust, understanding how your funds are protected is crucial. So hit like, subscribe, share the video with your successor trustee, and let's jump in. Let's start with FDIC insurance, which covers deposit accounts in banks. Think Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. The FDIC insures deposits up to 250,000 per beneficiary for both revocable and irrevocable trusts. This coverage applies regardless of whether the trust is revocable and irrevocable and regardless of contingencies or the allocations of funds among the beneficiaries. For instance, if you have a revocable trust with five beneficiaries and 1.25 million in deposits, each beneficiary is insured up to $250,000, ensuring full coverage of the entire amount. Here are some key points to keep in mind. First, coverage limits, up to 250,000 per beneficiary as I mentioned. However, keep in mind that this is with a maximum of five beneficiaries, effectively creating a cap of 1.25 million. Second, simplified rules. The FDIC has simplified the rules to make it easier to understand and apply if insurance is needed. And third, effective date. The simplified rules took place back on April 1st, 2024. You think they would have picked something like tax day on April 15th rather than April Fool's, but oh well. Let's quickly differentiate revocable versus irrevocable trusts under FDIC insurance. In a revocable trust, the grantor, settlor, trustor, same thing in this context, retains control and can alter or revoke the trust. The FDIC provides insurance coverage based on the number of unique beneficiaries named in that trust. Each beneficiary is insured up to $250,000. Once an irrevocable trust is created, the grantor, settlor, trustor typically cannot change or revoke it either by design or typically because they've passed away in a trust that was previously revocable has now become irrevocable. However, the FDIC insurance coverage for irrevocable trust is also up to $250,000 per beneficiary. For example, let's imagine you have a revocable trust funded with $750,000 with a spouse and two children as beneficiaries. Each beneficiary is insured up to $250,000, covering the entire amount. Now, let's turn to the NCUA, which insures deposits at credit unions. The NCUA provides similar protections through the National Credit Union Shares Insurance Fund. As we did before, let's go over some key points. First are the coverage limits. Wouldn't you know it, we're also up to $250,000 per share owner per insured credit union for each account ownership category. Second are the types of accounts covered. Regular shares, share drafts, money market accounts, and share certificates. And third, additional coverage. There is entirely separate coverage for retirement accounts and joint accounts. We'll differentiate revocable and irrevocable trusts for the NCUA as well, but you'll notice that as with the FDIC, our coverage is based on the number of beneficiaries resulting in a similar situation. Again, a revocable trust is one where the grantor, settlor, trustor retains the right to amend or revoke the trust entirely. The NCUA provides insurance coverage for revocable trusts up to $250,000 per beneficiary. This is separate from the coverage available to the trust owner's other accounts that they may have at the same credit union. The grantor, settlor, trustor of an irrevocable trust does not have the right to amend or revoke the trust either due to design or by death. And for irrevocable trusts, the NCUA ensures the beneficial interest of each beneficiary up to $250,000. If a beneficiary has interests in multiple trusts from the same owner, these interests are aggregated for insurance purposes though. For another quick example, if you have an irrevocable trust with three beneficiaries and a total of $600,000 in assets, each beneficiary is insured up to $250,000 ensuring full coverage. However, if you had three beneficiaries, 
that means there's still $50,000 that is not covered by the NCUA in that situation. The FDIC and NCUA have also streamlined their rules to provide clearer, more accessible insurance coverage. This simplification helps ensure that your trust funds are protected without requiring complex calculations or detailed trust reviews. It's comforting to know that your hard-earned assets are insured and protected, whether held in a revocable or irrevocable trust. This protection helps ensure that your beneficiaries receive their intended inheritance, even in the relatively unlikely event of a bank or credit union failure. Always keep your trust documents up to date and clearly outline the beneficiaries to ensure you maximize the available insurance coverage. If you have any doubts or need specific advice, of course, talk to your estate planning attorney or financial advisor. In summary, both FDIC and NCUA insurance provide robust protections for trust accounts, ensuring your assets and your beneficiaries are well protected. Understanding these protections can give you the peace of mind you need when managing your estate. But let me know what you think. Have you ever thought about FDIC or NCUA insurance for your trust funds or have a scary bank story to tell? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share the video with your finance guy. I'm attorney Andrew Bethel, and I'll see you at our next meeting.